Yeah, Jay Edwards. Today I'm just here with Elliot Holtz. Um, he's going to take me through a few things, probably deadlifts, strength, all that kind of stuff, to make me a stronger person. Yeah, absolutely, man. So whatever you want to do, whatever's going to support you guys in getting stronger, let's hit it and make sure it happens. subject to try it. No doubt in my mind that the universe system needs to be balanced out by having your atlas checked. Um, but we can, I can help you out with that also too if you're, if you're in town or you're back in town. I have a guy that's really good. The other thing is because you've been fighting against yourself for so long, you've built up a lot of compensatory habits. You know, so all the things that we're seeing in your front squat, in your overhead squat, in my mind, a manifestation of the root issue, which is your nervous system with the firepower. But because you're you're hearty, you're strong, you're a strong individual, you've got good genetics, you've been able to overcome it by pure brute force. But at the same time, you're still losing, you're still losing some mobility, and you're probably losing a hell of a hell of a lot of energy, always fighting against the muscular imbalance. So you'll be okay, you'll be alright, but if you're anything like me, you start wearing out, I'm 34 and I'm already starting to wear out. So that would be it. The 
front squat and the overhead squat are probably, I would advise to be something that you use as a part of your warm up every day. I would say do these stretches and, and rolling for the feet specifically. So in the meantime, do I lay off the back squat? It won't serve you. Back squats will serve you. You probably are pretty good at back squats, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You're good at back squats because it's the other end of the spectrum. If you're strong there because you're weak here. Holding in the front of your body is very weak, so you're, you do very well on the other side because of the way you're, you've compensated for the imbalance. I don't back squat at all anymore. Believe it or not, you and I are built very similarly. Very similarly because I have the same torsion going on. I'm always having to get my balance adjusted. And I have a natural tendency to have really tight ankles. I sit back, that's why we both have big butts. The reason why we have big butts is that we can back squat a lot is because of all of our energy is found in our hips. You can probably jump pretty high, correct?